I have my hair a little bit uh, grown up, so I'm going to do something very special. And I'm going to show you my barber shop here in Cartagena de India. Called Barba Santa, by the way. That is my office. Okay, you see here is my office, show to live media. Okay, there you have it. This is my office. I'll show it to you later on. But let's go on because today I'm going to, I'm going to cut my hair. And uh, this is one of the things I like to do over here at Barba Santa, look. Barba Santa, it started in 2016 and it is special for men. So we're gonna get in. The AC is working very good. He's the owner of Barba Santa, he's Jesus. Hola Jesus, como vas? Muy bien. How are you, how's it going, man? Fine, fine, very fine. Your specialist is in uh, men's hair, yeah? Yeah, sure. You're a specialist and you come, uh, many tourists that come over here to Cartagena to have your services and many weddings, no? Mucha yeah, boda, yeah, no? Yeah, The tourists come here uh, every, every week, every day. Um, we have uh, the good service for the people. Okay, I'm gonna tell you one thing. It's a very special attention, and I'm gonna get here in my position. He's one of the uh, stars over here also, <laughs> and uh, I'm here at my position. Look at this. Wow. So let's get it in, man. We're gonna do it right away. Let's cut my hair. So let's start. This is Colombia Nestor Tours. Okay, now we're gonna get to see how they cut my hair. You're gonna like it. And here we are at Barba Santa. You know, you gotta come over here to Centro Comercial Getsemani. It's right in the middle of Cartagena, right in the middle of all the action. So we got it here and Anthony, hey Anthony, say hi. Anthony's gonna cut my hair. He's very good actually. So let's go on to see what they do to me with all the hair I have, but I still have hair guys, I still have it. I think I'm gonna have it for a few years going on. So let's go on with Barba Santa and we got everything special treatment that they give you here. You know, years before I used to use my hair like uh, quite long. I had a very, very long hair. Right now I am not as a, uh, I, 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 I like a short. You know why I like a short? One of the things is that here in Cartagena with the heat and when I'm working on the streets and when I'm doing videos, like the long hair is, you know, is so hot. And you know what guys, right now, I don't know if it's the global warming, it must be, but right now we're having uh, like the weather and the temperature is going up Está haciendo calor, no, Anthony? It's very hot. It's very hot in Cartagena right now, but I know you like that. And if you're, if you happen to be in a winter season, you are gonna like all, all the heat. Oh, look at what are they gonna do to me. He has something special, something like electronic, like vibrating in my head. They're stimulating all the hair polypos. <laughs> Let's go on. He knows how to do it. I like short hair. Ya sabes como es conmigo. Yeah. I didn't used to cut my hair so short, but a few years from now, from back, I started to cut my hair like a little bit, a little bit short. And then after I realized that I actually I didn't uh, I didn't look so bad with my hair so short. Well, that's the way I do it right now. And it's easier, you know. You just have to put on your hand and that's it. You get out. I remember back in the times I used to have the long hair and well, you got to go by the blower, the whatever, the no, right now it is just like coming here every 20 days, every month, and I get a very sharp haircut at Barba Santa. 
with the guys over here at the Centro Comercial Hetzemani, and they're very good. They're specialists. This is a this is a specialized on men, okay? So, but maybe some women can. A veces vienen mujeres, ¿no es cierto? También. Sí, sí, tenemos... Hay mujeres que les gustan los cortes como masculinos también. Sí, sí, sí. sí hay mujeres que les gusta sí, como. Con máquina, con máquina. You know, there's some women that, that like uh, like uh, the man style and uh, in their hairs, so they don't go to like uh, women uh, women uh, beauty shops because actually it is uh, they're the specialists with the uh, with this machine. I was asking, I remember back in the times, my God, I, I'm old, but I'm gonna tell you. I remember back in the times, this machine used to be like uh, manually. ¿Tú conociste esas manuales o no las has visto? Sí, son así. Sí, 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 sí. They were manual. Now look at this. Let me take the camera and show how they do it. There goes my gray hair. It is actually gray hair. This is Nestor's haircut over here at Barba Santa. And I just want to cut my hair. Podemos correr y me la podemos hacerla casi. Let's do it with the window, with the, con el espejo allá atrás. Sí, podemos hacer así. También más duro el muchacho lo puede colaborar grabando. Ah, sí, claro, Jesús también nos puede colaborar grabando. There you have it, Jesús. Si se te coge la cámara, si se te va el monitor, entonces simplemente le das. Since uh, when did you start everything over here, Jesu? Since when uh, did you have the idea to have a barber shop like this one, Jesus? He's the owner. He's Jesus. He's, he's in the camera right now, but I'm talking to him. He's in the other side. Let me show it to you. He's Jesu. Hi. When did you start to do this? When did you have the idea? Cuando tuviste la idea de montar esta barbería? Eh, hace aproximadamente unos. Ocho, siete años. Like around seven, eight years. You, uh, you, ¿Tú trabajabas antes en barbershop? Sí, Did you en work mi, in barbershop? Yeah. En mi casa. Antes At his home. En mi casa, sí. And then you started uh, thinking and uh, uh, thinking about having your own barbershop, very distinctive. Sí, algo muy, muy. It is very special. You know, this place is very, very special. Like, well, as you may know, I have been in barbershops all my life, but as you guys also. But uh, you know when when you, when you want one and a very special one and they treat you very well over here. Entonces claro empezaste con tu propia idea y empezaste de tu casa y abriste este lugar acá en el centro o dónde lo abriste primero. Bueno antes de bueno después de salir de mi casa vine a, a trabajar acá con un amigo y luego él me vendió la barbería y ya yo puse mi nombre puse el nombre de, de Barba Santa ya tenía mi proyecto. Realizado como tal. Okay, yeah. he started like uh, with a friend of him that he was uh, he, he was owner of the barber shop, and then he bought the barber shop, and then he started to put on his personal touch. Tú tienes un un toque personal para esta sí, barbería, sí, ¿no? Sí, claro. El concepto es totalmente único, la, las instalaciones, los colores, eh, la calidad del lugar y y el enfoque que nosotros tenemos es que la gente venga a descansar aquí a, a la barbería. Okay, they want the people uh, to come here to rest and to have a great time and also to have a great haircut and great services. 
there's Mari also that she does the pedicure, the manicure, and they have massages and everything. And they have very, 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 very good toys to make you feel like really, really, really wonderful. As uh, so you see, they're cutting me with a, a zero razor. Están metiendo el acero ahí, ¿no es cierto? Sí. <laughs> wow, I feel it right now. I'm not watching myself on the mirror because I wanted you guys to have the mirror on the back. So I trust Anthony because he's been my barber like uh, like from one year ago. Like uh, he's been working on my hair uh, for one year long. And uh, well, I feel very happy coming over here. Actually, the idea of cutting my hair was of Estefania, my daughter. She said to me, okay, are you gonna cut your hair? You go and, and, and you make some content because people may want to see how do they are the barber shops in Cartagena, in Colombia. And for me, this is the finest barber shop of Cartagena. It's located at the Centro Comercial Hechemani. My office is here also. Show tour live media. If you want to come to see or uh, to talk to me, Sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm guiding people around, and sometimes I tap in for Colombia Nestor Tours, for you guys, for Colombia Tours. So you have here on the YouTube channel all everything about Colombia, everything about Cartagena, and you give it, a, give it a thing, give it a thought to coming over here to Cartagena, Colombia, and to have a, a great time. What do you think, guys? Do you want to come here? Do you want to cut your hair? Look at all my white hair. You know, they say white hair. Dicen que el pelo blanco es mejor cortico. ¿Tú qué opinas, Jesús? You're the specialist. Or everyone has its own way. O todo el mundo tiene su propia forma. Sí, pero la mayoría de las personas que, que tienen el pelo blanco se lo hacen un poco más corto. Okay, he says that most of the people that has the gray hair, like me, white hair, uh, they prefer like short hair. I know, I, I really know why. I, I don't like 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 dull white hair. A mí no me gusta el pelo blanco como caído. No se ve muy bien, ¿no es cierto? Yeah, it doesn't look, it makes you look old and I'm just a kid, you know? I, I'm still a kid. You know that? I feel like one. Have I changed a little bit? I, I can't imagine. I haven't finished. They're working on it. And you know, I, I don't have birds. Actually, my bird is very, I, I have no, I have a very <laughs> bad bird. Yeah, I don't laugh at it, but I, I really have bad birds. I don't have, I, I'm, I'm a kid, you know? <laughs> I have very bad birds, so I prefer not to not to have a bird because it doesn't look very good. You know, you know what I mean. So I shave every day. Yeah, that's what I do every day. I I, I don't even leave my, leave my my bird like with no bird, with no day with not, without having it. I do it every day. I shave my hair even on Sundays. Very few days in the year I don't look at that bird. Nothing. Huh? So I don't envy you guys with the uh, birds. 
Actually, I don't like it. And I think my baby face has to steal baby face. <laughs> <laughs> you don't laugh at that. Yeah, You're laughing at all that. I have a baby face, don't I? Have you seen that that mask? Has visto esa máscara? Like uh, that, that, uh, that, that, that old people looks like they were 17 year old? Sí. Have you seen that, guys? That is so funny. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it because I don't want that algorithm to, to get into my phone, but. It really, I'm curious about it. I, I, I'm really curious about it. But I can't imagine that algorithm comes from Russia or from whatever, and I don't want to use it. But it looks fun. Maybe if I have a mobile where I can use it, I, I, I will use it and I will, and I will check it out and I will share it to you guys to see how I looked when I was 17 years old but I prefer to have my pictures when I was a kid. Still a kid. Anthony, ¿cómo se llama este corte? El corte Nestor. Oh, that's my cut. <laughs> They have a name on my, on my haircut, man. That's incredible. It's the easiest one. It's the most simple cut I, anyone has. Look at this. It's because of this. I don't have a lot of hair, you know? I am not, a, like, I'm not bold. When I was a kid, you know, when I was like 17 years old, my hair started to fall to fail or to, uh, you know what I mean. And all my friends from school, they said, but well, many friends from school say, oh, you're gonna be bald by whatever, by 25 or whatever. You know, guys, have never been bald. I still have hair, look at it. Not many, not a lot, but I still have hair. And many of those people that used to bother me Oh, you're gonna be bold. Oh, you're gonna be a cowboy. You're gonna be bold. They're cowboys right now. They're bold. I still have hair. Si es eso, todavía tengo pelo, man. Sí, no estás calmo. Queda pelo, queda pelo. And not only her. <laughs> hey guys, give me a subscription. Hit that subscribe button. You know, I need subscriptions and I need you to come over here to Cartagena, come over here to Colombia and really enjoy a great time in my country. We're a beautiful country and I know you're gonna like it all around. It's not only Cartagena, not only the Caribbean coast of Colombia, but also our cities like Bogota, it's a metropolis, like Medellin, it's a very beautiful city. Uh, Cali, wonderful. If you go to the Coffee Axis Zone, wow, it's incredible. And you know, Colombia has more than 30% of the Amazon jungle. Actually, like 33% of the Amazon jungle belongs to Colombia. So we have everything. And we have a region called the Orinoquia, which limits with Venezuela, which is a mix between plains and jungle and a lot of cattle ranches and a lot of agriculture. And uh, you know, my country is so beautiful. That's why I love to live here. And I love you to come over here to Colombia. Give me the subscription and you will know more about my country. My country, Colombia. This is Colombia Tours by Nestor, right here. <laughs> Having a haircut. Today, with Anthony on the machine. And Jesus, look at Jesus, he's, he's taping right now. He's the owner of the show. Hello. He's the owner of Barba Santa, the show here. We're going live. Let's go on, like, 
all the way through. ¿Cómo? Arriba o bajito. Sí, bajito, bajito. Pasó el número 3 ahí. ¿Tres o era dos que me habías pasado? Pasó el número 3, That's the way I know, guys. When I when I go to the shower and I do like this, bye. So lucky to be like like I have a I have a something with my daughter and I, and I tell her, you know, I'm gonna tell her this in Colombia. Maybe Colombians are gonna understand me. So I tell my daughter, you know what? Que chimba ser un man. That's one of the things. Es una chimba ser un man. But you don't know, if you're a Colombian, you know what I'm telling you. Because Chimba is for, like, for Colombians, how to translate Chimba. Like, it has many meanings. But Chimba is a good thing. <laughs> but so, so, it means pussy. <laughs> so we say it's a Chimba when something is going very good. We say, que Chimba. And I say to my daughter, when, I don't know, when she's like doing a, I don't know, like a one hour doing like beauty and all of that stuff, I say to her, que chimba, ser un man. We're almost ready, you see? You see, see? When you don't have a lot of hair, it's not uh, as complicated as when I had long hair. You know, I have the hair here. Long, long, long hair. It were the times, you know. If you didn't have the long and the hair long, you didn't do well. You didn't do well at all. And I used to work at show business, so we had to have that long hair because you did have half a short haircut in those times in the show business industry like who is this guy i worked for the latino music industry many years and my biggest star i love her a lot and i liked her a lot and my biggest star was selena we had a 
terrible thing that happened to her, you know. She got assassinated, but I really enjoyed a lot working for her. Many years of my life. And we did it big. We made her a star. That's very good. No, and sometimes I dream on Selena. Dreaming of you, like her success song in the United States. Yeah, sometimes I dream on Selena. And she comes to me and says, everything okay? And the last time I saw Selena, you know, she said to me, oh, Lester, we're going to Hollywood. I know, Selena, we are going to Hollywood. Look at this. Maybe Hollywood is going to check me out, like cutting my hair. They're going to say, like, look, this guy is cutting her, his hair. That's a very interesting content. What do you think about that? <laughs> Remember, if you're here in Cartagena, you come to Barba Santa and you have a very good haircut. If you're a man or, or if you're a woman and like men's haircuts. You know, there's some women that like men's haircuts. I don't know why. They, and women don't know, women stylists don't know a lot how to operate the, this kind of machines and whatever. They're not so specialists on that. Okay, we gotta get the extra hairs out of everywhere. We got it. Sometimes we got extra hair that we don't need it. The ears, extra hair, get it out of there. And the nose, you know how it is? I been, I, I take care of my nose every day. And yeah, holds. ¿Qué piensas de los detalles? Oh, very good. This is one of the details I like about Barba Santa. They always take care of your extra hair. That They don't do that at every barbershop. Here, they do it every time. They go and get your extra hairs out of you. Get out! That's very good. And you know what? Jesus has a special thing, like a, a, a massage thing. Oh, that's cool. And now we go to the final touches.
They have every time a new eraser. No, you know that. That is very important. You're a Barba Santa, look at this. And look at my gray hair. There it goes. This Colombian Esther Tours having a haircut today. What do you think about it? This is cool. This is Stefania's idea. She said to me, Go, oh, are you going to cut your hair? Yes, I'm going to do it. No, 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 I need the uh, content. Okay. Here you have it. You tell me if you like it. If you like it, please do like it, subscribe, and share it all around. Do you want to see Nestor having a haircut? What do you think guys, should I go for Botox? I don't know. But maybe, maybe, maybe I get some Botox on my... But the thing with Botox is that I have to do it every year, no? But I don't know. I would like to take care, take out some of my wrinkles. Get them out of the way. Can I have a Ready? Wow, again, good. That's great. You see, I'm smelling like a baby right now. Baby powder. We got the shampoo, so we get uh, everything out. Wow, good zipper, man. I like this sensation about cutting my hair.
This is one thing you do by yourself, like uh, every day, but it is never the same. Like to have a shampoo made is one of the most wonderful things you can have. Well, not in life, but in a moment, yeah, it is good to have a shampoo made by someone that is not you, like in a barber shop like this with a, you know, with all the toys. It smells good. Are you still there? I'm here. I'm in a haircut. And then a shampoo. And then we're almost ready. Yeah, I remember Kachim Baserumban. I'm gonna do that program, okay? So we'll be waiting for that. Get chimba, ser human. What do you think about that? ¿Qué opinas de eso? No? Me gustaría ganar Ah, producto de la No me gusta mucho. Cera, lo mismo. No sé, de pronto. Tú me sabes, es cera, ¿no? Pero no sé. Un poquito de cera. Tú sabrás mejor que. Un y medio, le parece una hora. A little bit of wax, they have very special products over here, so you can count on that, that they have very good products. This is wax. Set. of this barber shop. When they apply you this, this is cool. Ah. <laughs> it's good, man. Feel it good, man. <laughs> ah, well, that's good, man. Ready? 
Hello. Oh, I like this. This is uh, one of my favorite parts. The menthol. Chamaca. Casito de menthol acá. This is good, my haircut here at uh, Barba Santa. I really had a great time. I love coming here. Hope you come over here also. Remember Barba Santa, it's located at the Centro Comercial Hetzemani, right here in uh, the city of Cartagena de Indias and in the hood, man, the real hood of Cartagena, that is Hetzemani. You gotta come over here and you gotta watch this beautiful neighborhood and you gotta hear, come over here to Centro Comercial Hetzemani. You visit Barba Santa and also you visit my office that is very near. My name is Nestor Melendez, having a haircut over here at Barba Santa for Colombia Nestor Tours. Remember to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. Guys, keep enjoying, keep having a great time. My name is Nestor, see you next time, bye.